Hey, good evening, guys. It's uh, Fisher Ferret Toys and Bruce Fisher here, and uh, we talk about a lot of different toys. We talk about variety of toys. We talk about the reason for the toys is to keep your ferret stimulated. Ferrets get bored very, very easily. One of the things that I do is I have banana boxes full of stuffed animals. Now, what I'll do is about every other weekend, I'll bring in an empty box or two pack up all the stuffed animals and toys that I can into those boxes and put out a new box or two. Just changing those toys out. Even though they may be the same toys every once in a while, it's still something different. But what I want to show you is on all these toys, get them something different. Let them have something different all the time, right? But you want to make sure that you check these toys constantly. If you got a bag like this, Make sure they can't get stuck down in there. Make sure these handles aren't something that they can get stuck in, okay? Now, what the other thing you want to do, you want to check the contents of this bag every now and then. They may be stashing something in there they're not supposed to have. Now, for me, I try not, for, uh, for my ferrets, not to get to anything, but ferrets are notorious for getting uh, earbuds off your headphones or getting a toothbrush or a hairbrush or something they're not supposed to get, and they'll usually hide it deep down in a toy that you don't think, so... Even if you have toys like this, check them. Toys like this, nothing wrong with this. These guys love it. Watch and see. They'll chew on the ears. And what you can do is just every now and then when you're sitting and playing with your ferret, put your hands on these stuffed animals. Just grab one or two of them. If it's really, really wet, that means they've been gnawing on it. You need to be watching that. Always check the eyes and the nose and stuff like that. Get them different size toys, different shapes, different configurations. Get them different textures of toys as well. I even have a bundle of socks. Sometimes you can put an egg inside of that, make it rattle with the little jingle bell inside of it. So this is just a pair of socks. It's just a cool design. It doesn't look too bad laying out in the middle of my room. But uh, a friend of mine sent me a whole uh, pack of sea-themed um, sea toys. Now these are... I mean, this is a really different texture, and some of it crinkles, some of it doesn't. So again, if you have toys, make sure that you have them a variety of shapes, sizes, and textures, and make sure that you check them. The one thing I wanted to show you, now look, I've even got them a rabbit. In case they see a rabbit out in the yard, they'll know. But again, feel around on them. Make sure they're not making any chew spots, you know, continual chew spots, that they're just playing with them or loving on them. The reason I say that because I got this bad boy right here, or bad bird, I should say, and I thought it was awesome. And what I did was, I literally propped him up in a corner, spread his feet just a little bit apart, and I put a water bowl right there. And they just loved going over and taking a drink out of that, and they would just kind of look at him or pick at him or whatever. Well, the other day, I noticed, he's missing a toenail. The ferrets are actually chewing off his toenails. So... I'm going to have to make some modifications to him or I'm going to have to pull him out of the room. So on Fisher Ferret Toys, I want you to have all kinds of different shapes and sizes of toys for them to play with. That's a practice golf ball. That's just a dog chew toy that's tough enough for them to withstand. But also, I want you to check these toys all the time. Feel around on them. See if they're wet. See if they've got any tear spots, so on and so forth. So on Fisher Ferret Toys, we also talk about toy safety and ferret safety. Remember, my guys gave this crow a pedicure or parrot. I guess it's a parrot, isn't it? <laughs> I've got my Fab Five or asleep in this room in here, but I've got toys everywhere, guys, and it's our responsibility as good ferrets to look at these toys almost on a daily basis if you can. So get out on the floor and while you're playing, Reach over and pick up a toy and feel of it. Make sure it doesn't have any holes. And make sure you're not using those toys with the little beans in the bottom, too. If they were to get a hole in that, then you've got a real problem. So Fisher Ferret Toys encourages you to have plenty of toys, but also have some ferret toy safety as well. Give me your feedback. Say hey.